The local area is a great inspiration for both the design of our branding, the interior design, and also the concept of how we are going to create the cafe and its offering. When we started talking about the interiors, I wanted to bring someone on to do the branding who could also do the interior design because I felt like it was really important that those were symbiotic. We kind of started off from like a sustainable approach and we wanted to make sure that we were referencing to like biophilic design, bringing the outside in, creating spaces that reflect nature and encourage well-being. The river flows right alongside the building so of course that's a really lovely starting point for ideas. The idea of the riverbed and taking material from the, the riverbed and thinking about clay and stone and looking at the reflections on the water and how we might be able to play with light and reflection and ripples throughout the space and then kind of upwards to the tree canopy and thinking about how we can use timber and greenery and bring in natural textiles throughout the space. We've also been inspired um, by biophilic design throughout the layout and creating them gathering spots where people can gather, communicate and create a community within the building which is really important. The space is designed to feel like an extension of their home and it's got the same home comforts and lounges that make people feel relaxed. We don't want anything to feel too perfect, it's really important that people feel really at home in the space. One of the things that's been the most exciting about this project is the ability to bring lots of artisans on board and to really um, showcase what UK craft is like at the moment and how amazingly talented um, some local people particularly are. My husband Ewan is a joiner, so we work with him quite often on projects where we need something very specific with a really um, artisanal touch and the boathouse naturally lends itself to some really beautiful pieces and um, things that help us to tell the story throughout the building. We are really sensitively researching old rowing paddles and, and details from the old business that used to be on the site. And then he's recreating those by hand so that we can have something with a real sense of history. As a freelancer, I was finding it hard to always be alone and not really have spaces that felt like somewhere you could return to over and over again. But really it is a hybrid. It's a solution of a members club co-working space, event space, all, all together in this building. I think the building is going to add so much value to this area. Guildford's crying out for more independent businesses in the first place. It's really nice to see an independent do it really, really well. They're going to provide opportunities for people wherever they can. They're supporting artists, they're supporting craftspeople, they're going to host workshops, they're going to give spaces to people who perhaps otherwise couldn't afford it. And I just think their whole vision for the business is really, really exciting and I, I don't think we've even started yet to look at the, the full potential of what they can do for the area. Through the Soul Space concept and this incredible building, I believe we have created the best possible place to enable people to do purposeful work and we hope that this all has a ripple effect outside of the building.